Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do, I'm going to take a look at one of the other new features of Logic 9, which is the ability to do some uh, cool sound replacer stuff. So let's say you've got some drum tracks. Okay. Got some drum tracks that we like, but we want the kick to sound a little bit punchier or better, or we just want to add some additional stuff. So, new feature of Logic 9, you can actually select the track that you want. In this place, we'll do the kick. And then go up to Track. Click on Drum Replacement or Doubling. And now, you've got this nice little window that opens up here. You can pick the sound that you want your kick to have. You can choose whether you want to do uh, a replacement or doubling. And then relative threshold. And what you'll do is you'll drag this one forward or backward to make sure that only the actual kicks are getting replaced. If you drag it too low, it'll any transient it picks up will reproduce a kick drum sound. If you drag it too high, it might not get enough. So set it to where you think it might be good and then just kind of scan across and make sure that all of them get what they're looking for. If you've got a situation like this here, let's zoom in. So you can see how even when I'm dragging it forward and backward it doesn't quite want to grab that transient. So get it close enough and you can just draw that one in later. Everything else looks pretty okay here. Okay. Now when you hit pre-listen, it's generated a new track called Kick Plus and new MIDI notes. And you can pick out whichever kick you want. It's going to sound the best on your track. So for us, we'll use um, we we'll use this one. We we'll use number C11 here. Click OK, and ta-da! It's generated a new click track for you. Okay, or uh, a new kick drum track for you. In a situation like this, uh, I try to group all my stuff together. So you can hit uh, Option C. It brings up your color window. Let's make sure this one is the same color as all the other ones there. Looking good. Uh, what's also cool is by double clicking this, you get the piano roll window at the bottom. Hit Command A to select all. And now you can quantize them. Uh, let's do it by 16th notes here. And click on Q. They're all going to snap to that grid. So now what you've got is uh, if you meet your original we got a great sounding kick drum uh, that we can use and that's it uh, next lesson we'll kinda go over some more cool things that we can do using uh, using this drum track so, thanks